Chris, you come in under man, you lose Sarah. Uh, it's a must-win game, and your team puts on a display like that. How proud are you of, of oh. how they went about it? To be quite honest, I'm extremely proud, but they've actually done that all year. Like, when their backs are against the wall, they just fight, and we won't die wondering. I think, um, yeah, really proud of the group. The scoring spread five and double figures. We looked after the basketball, which we didn't do the other night. And defensively, against their size, you know, we did a good job, and they're going to keep pounding it inside. But I thought Nas, Keeley, and then T had to go to the four spot. So, you know, they're going to continue with that game plan. But, uh, yeah, really enjoyed the win. I think it was a good game of women's basketball, to be quite honest. One adjustment you had to make from game one was obviously keeping them off the offensive boards, which aside from the first play of the game, you guys did a fantastic job at. Was that a real point of emphasis tonight? Well, I think it's a possession game. Looking after the basketball, winning the boards, I think we got that done tonight. We didn't the other night. And we weren't happy with our performance the other night. And I, I'm just pleased with the girls. And, you know, no training. And we just did walk through and review and then made a few adjustments and really pleased. You only played seven players really tonight, um, which is a challenge in and of itself as a coach. Um, how tough was that? And in terms of just spreading the load on the minutes, you know, how hard was that to manage through tonight? Well, it's hard because I've got a couple of players that said they'll play 40 minutes. So, um, <laughs> no, look, I think uh, Nas picked up a couple early and then Keely was in foul trouble and, you know, Tara come in and did a really good job for us. So, and I'm, I'm really pleased for Wally tonight. You know, she come in, I said, just enjoy yourself. And I thought she did a terrific job. And uh, that three she hit in the corner, really six points up, I think it was, hit that. It just gave us a little bit of buffer. Do you feel like she's finally getting a little bit of rhythm and flow and her legs back a little bit? Look, it's going to take time. She hasn't played for seven months. Um, I think she's really hard on herself. She's a super athlete. And, you know, she's this last five years has been shit for her, to be quite honest. And I think people forget that. And she's, you know, she's frustrated with her body, but she's done a great job. Naz. Um, aside from, we'll come to your numbers in a moment, but in, in this, this challenge that you're used to now facing Mercedes, Lauren, Carly Ernst, how much do you enjoy getting up for these games when you guys are a little bit undersized against them? Yeah, I mean, my thing, my whole career is I've been undersized, um, just about at every every level based on my position and of course my height, and I just have to find ways to, to get around it. I mean, I'm not gonna grow an inch or I'm not gonna grow a foot anytime soon or if ever. Um, so you just have to do the little things to figure out what works for me. I mean, I think myself and Keely did a really good job of that. Auntie um, did a really good job of using our strength, um, you know, because we are undersized. And yourself offensively tonight, I feel like you let the game come to you. You didn't really force things, but you found yourself in good spots. And obviously getting to the free throw line 15 times in any game is amazing. Mm -hmm. Knocking down all 15 of them even better. Mm -hmm. um, how did you feel out there tonight? Yeah, like you said, just letting the game come to me. I mean, I just... I have really great teammates who find me and, and put me in really good spots and my coaches put me in really good spots to where I don't ever feel like I have to rush a shot or I have to take a contested shot. I know that it'll come back around to me and then going back to the little things like I know that offensive rebounds will always get me going um, and that also gives my teammates an extra possession. So just really finding the flow of my game, not forcing it and finding the best spots for myself. Did you guys come in as a group tonight with a bit of a nothing to lose mentality or did you guys come in think, think, feeling like you can make the adjustments from game one and really attack it and win? I think we knew that we had a lot of adjustments to make. Um, to be honest, our, our first game we weren't very happy with, but we lost by four. So that's something that really gives you a little bit of confidence of, wow, this really wasn't our best game at all. Um, defensively turning the ball over, but then figuring it out the next game and, and really feeling like, okay, four points is not a lot to make up. If you have three less turnovers, it's, it's a difference maker. Um, but I feel like there, all, there is also a little bit of, there's nothing to lose. We know that we beat this team um, in the regular season. It wasn't an impossible feat. Um, so just the combination of knowing that we had a lot of mistakes game one that we could fix in game two and just wanting to play hard for each other. And how confident is the group now heading into game three? You'll be back in this building even though it'll be a road game, mm -hmm. but you just beat them by over 20 points. So how does that feel as the group? And, and, and you know, how confident are you guys can, can get back to the grand final, take one step further than this group did last year? Mm -hmm. I think uh, we're, we're feeling good, but at the same time, you know, we always know that there's something to, to work on. We know that they're going to make adjustments, so we're going to have to make adjustments. Um, and, that, and that's the, the great thing about the finals is that it's not, it's not one and done, and now you turn around and you can't make an adjustment. Um, well, now it does turn into one and done because it's 0-0, it's zero, zero, as, as Coach would say. Um, and just knowing that they're going to make adjustments, we have to make adjustments and find a way to play at our highest, highest level um, because it is a win or go home game. Chris, um, it, it felt like that Nas um, sort of kept you afloat with um, T and Amy um, Rochi, and then it was sort of Canada time in that last quarter to kind of take over. Was there any message to her, or did she just go, I need to take my game? Oh, look, I, I think, you know, we, we recognise at times that, you know, Jordan's a wonderful player, um, but I think sometimes we put her under too much pressure. So what we're trying to do is share the load and take some pressure off her. 
and then when we need to make a bucket, she some, somehow finds a way. But I thought our ball movement and player movement was so much better than the other night. And um, I'm just really, really happy with the group. But as Nas said, it's 0-0. Zero, zero, and what does it mean? It means you've got an opportunity and what your team does with it, it's, it's really you know, internal, really, and decide what we want to do. Because these, these opportunities to get through the playoff championship games just don't. I've been around for a while. They just don't come along very often. Can you talk a little bit about um, Amy's impact? I mean, it, it sort of she had the concussion at the start of the year and she's kind of struggled to find her feet a little bit. And, and the, probably the last two games, I think, where she's been most impactful for you. Um, yeah, well, look on that point. Um, I didn't realise till the other day. We actually haven't had our whole team together one game this year. You know, Wally was out. She got concussed. Jordan got concussed. We lost momentum. Um, and we've had to make another adjustment tonight on the fly without training. You know, we're not. We're not physically training, but we're shooting and we're, you know, we're doing scout and we're doing all the right things. But I, I think this team is very adaptable to what we need and they're very smart. And I, I actually feel very, very privileged with the group we've got. Amy is an ex extremely experienced player. Uh, she's smart. I think she gives us a lot of poise, but I actually feel pretty pr privileged with um, the imports that we have this year. Um, they're pretty not only very good basketballers, but they're better people. And I just think that they complement our whole group and give us a lot of confidence. Penea's been close the last two games, if I'm not wrong. Is she a chance for Wednesday? Well, I asked her to go in and she just shook her head. So, <laughs> I, I look, I'd, I doubt her very much. She hasn't, she hasn't trained. Um, she's around the group. Her impact with the group, even though she's not playing, has been tremendous. So, I'd uh, love her to play because it'll give you know, our girls a bit of a spell. But, you know, we just... It is what it is. It's in front of us, and we just need to do a, a better job, I think, in a couple of areas. And you know, but the finals are final, so enjoy it. You talked about Wally a little bit, but um, it looked like that celebration after she hit that three. I mean, it sort of lifted the, the roof off the burn box, but it was almost a, like a roar of frustration, a, a turning point for her. How did you see it? Um, I think, to be quite honest, her whole team care about her, and that's you know that's an internal thing and. And we're pretty pleased for her. You know, she, I thought her impact today was really good. Her and T off the bench when we were in foul trouble. Um, and I thought, you know, her composure was terrific tonight.